Hey everybody, two boys, one brain cell. I'm Joel Norton, and this is Charles Beeson. And today we're checking out a song that was requested down in the comments below, "The Big Drag" by No Effects. Now, yeah, we do love our No Effects. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and when it comes to, we have a lot of these coming up in the request list. Yeah. So you guys are about if you're a No Effects fan, you're gonna be in heaven. You know, next end of the year, let's just say. Yeah. Next couple of months. Um. But uh, the comment, the uh, requests are currently closed. Yes. Keep an eye on the community tab for when those will open back up. All right. That's Absolutely. where we, that's where we keep our updates going, guys. So just keep an eye on that. Um, but yeah, as of right now, we're ignoring all requests because of the massive list that we have from you guys. Yeah. But it's pretty sweet because we got yeah. a lot of different stuff going on in there. Absolutely, it's and we're just dope. trying to keep that in a manageable area. Yeah. So that we can make sure we get to all the requests and I'd uh, rather not you know, this? take seven months to do it. Like we're we have trying them. to get it to a manageable area. <laughs> yeah. So we let it grow. We're new here guys. It's our first year. All we're right? just trying to figure it we, out. We, we didn't know. We didn't know it go that quick. Yeah. <laughs> it went quick. We learning. Um, yeah, we are. Um, now I do have one worry about the song. Oh boy. It is, uh, it's a long and please minute 20 intro. This is, uh, it's pushing six minutes of a song, and I'm just worried that it could be. That's Chuck's other OCD. A big drag. How hilarious would that be if that's the whole song? Like, it's just <laughs> set up to piss somebody off like you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That would make my whole day. That'd be funny as hell. <laughs> like, that's just a golden stab. Did I'd it? enjoy that a lot of it. Chuck's like, I didn't know they made fun of my OCDs. <laughs> <laughs> like, I hate you, but. Thank you. <laughs> long songs. I didn't know I needed that. <laughs> long songs, long intros, bother Chuck, and yep. really rough vocals. And long outros. Yes, but on a lesser but, scale. Yeah, on a lower scale. And then for me, what am I? There definitely have a few. You just called me out on one the other day. Oh, really loud noises. Yeah. In the All beginning. that screeching. Any kind of intro that's not musical and it's like people talking normally. <laughs> News clips. News clips, anything like that in the beginning. Yep. It bothers me. Really or or the really bad screeching at the screeching. end. Screeching. But a lot of times it's these. That's why I haven't even been mentioning it lately when, yeah. when it does happen because it's it's gone when I listen to it. Because it's more of a screech in these, these than it these is just pick, uh, These pick up some wild noises, dude. Yeah. Some wild stuff. But yeah, let's jump into this. Let's get it. Ooh, I like that intro already. Jesse's girl. <laughs> Before James died, he smiled and laughed. Cause he was just photographed for the last time. While it was drowned, the kid in bird. At least that's what I thought I heard. Maybe that's cause I need to believe In the absurd Ashes to ashes after the planet crashes I trust all dust will turn to dust Just a long shot 
Interesting. Yeah. So, like at the beginning, I enjoyed the intro. Yeah. And how that call came in. Um, it just, so did I. I mean, that was. It just felt like he drug on a little bit too long with the same tone so far. Yeah. Does that make sense? There's a couple things that I was like, just didn't. I got that they were supposed to be kind of like my melodies or maladies. It's like the. Yeah, I don't know what maladies means. I'm pretty that's sure. what was funny. My poetry are sorry. phonetic, and I'm like, I don't know these words. So that's that one I thought was a little lame. That was my one. My poetries are phonetic. Like phonetic, I believe, is the sound of like language. I'll double check on that. But um, you look up maladies. Yeah. I'll look up. We're on it, guys. We're on it. <laughs> We're special. Yes, we are. But I, I was like, yeah, I just felt like it went a little. His melodies are ailments. Yeah, so it's relating to speech sounds. It's phonetic. So to me, that makes no sense. Of course, your poetry is phonetic. Your words are phonetic. Yeah, but his melodies are diseases or ailments. I'm assuming sick. Right. <laughs> so that's why I, I thought like some of these were like melodies. Like a melody is normally a good thing, yeah. and his melodies a negative thing. Okay. Yeah. But the po- my poetries are just phonetic. Oh, I guess maybe are just phonetic. So maybe it's just noises. Yeah. Like there might be maybe my poetry's just it's just it's what it not is. it's not as good good enough to be poetry maybe yeah. it's just okay okay that could all be right it. so uh, yeah all right all right all right because right. at first I was kind of like of course it's phonetic I'm like that's a sound of all language yeah but no, I just want to know what the kitten did to deserve that because that's yeah what it, that was mean like Beyond even mean. I was upset by that yeah hmm. poor kitten it's kind of yeah. dark song. Weirdly. Yeah. Ashes to ashes after the planet crashes. Like, I like some of the rhyme yeah, scheme. That's good. I, yeah. I trust all dust will turn to dust. I think I th- I like this one a lot, though, actually. This is probably my favorite one so far. I used to think a li- uh, wasted life was not a crime. That was before I realized we don't have very much more time. But the way I you said like that, that yeah. I was like, that sounded good. Yeah. But just some of it, it was just like pounded. This is a very I'm like, poetic. I don't know if I'd call it that, but I don't know how to put it. It almost feels like a more poetic style of song. I don't know. To me, just the way the rhymes are working is my big one. Okay. But definitely, I don't different. have like an issue with it overall, yeah. but it, it does have a very dark tone, is my only. I'm like, uh, so far, that's all. Yeah, I like the trying to make sense of this world is preposterous, pathetic. Yeah, some of them, there's some really good lines in here. Which makes me wonder if uh, the human race is not worth watching or wagering on. We're just a long shot and underdog. Yeah. With odds so bad, now it's just a bloodletting. So yeah. yeah, I I so far it's it's uh it's different is the best way I oh, think yeah. I put it. Um, I think trying to make sense of this song. Yeah. Could be, you know, fit what he's saying. Trying to make sense of the world there. Yeah, and I think a lot of this, like my melodies, my our melody is what? <laughs> it's preposterous. <laughs> What do you mean? I was trying to figure out this song. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just, I think a lot of it, like some yeah. of this was like, he's like my, okay. So after reading this, rereading and looking up the definitions yep. and stuff, my melodies are maladies. My poetries are just phonetic. I think he's kind of saying that my voice isn't kind of, it's not really anything special yeah. in a way. And then trying to make sense he's of this like, world is our, he's like, even with me being positive by making melodies, yeah. they're still maladies. Kind of yeah. depressing a little kind bit. Kind of. But I mean, that's what it is. Yeah, and try not to make sense of the world because, well, something good happened for me here. I'm not going to try to figure that out. Yeah. That'd be silly. Yeah. Let's Maybe. See. Something Let's, along those I don't really know. Yeah, I, I guess we're analyzing the song halfway through, and we should probably yeah, 100%. finish it and then analyze yeah. it. I tried to say we were being preposterous and pathetic, but you wouldn't let me get that one out. You said it, you said it? and then I, I was know, like, but what, it wasn't... what about it? And then you're like, us trying to figure it out, and I was like, okay, cool, and then I went back to it, and you didn't stop yeah. me. Yeah. Chuck, you got to be more assertive. Nah. I like letting you go sometimes. <laughs> You're like, let's see where he goes with this. Yeah. Maybe he'll get somewhere good. I don't know. He's going to dig us a hole. Let's watch him do <laughs> One it. One of the two. <laughs> something. Chuck's like, at least I'm not digging. Hey, either something good or something bad is going to come from it. Let's finish this. Yeah. I rewind a little bit.
You know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. it's dark. Yeah. Kind of dark. Yeah. All right. So, lyrically. Yeah. I definitely enjoyed that second half more. A lot more. Yeah. And um, vocally and. I really liked his vocals. The instruments in the second half were so much. Yes. More fulfilling. Yeah. Yes. That's a good way to put it. I like that. Because the first half, I just wanted a little bit more of a change. An atmosphere, if that makes yeah. any sense, like the the melody. Well, we got it right at that midpoint. That midpoint, but it took a while to get there. So yeah. At first, I was all right with the tone, and then like half of the tone, I got bored. Just yeah. being honest. Yeah. Um. And some of these lyrics are really good, while dark, obviously. Oh yeah. But then there's some that are just cringy, and I'm just like, uh, you know, like the beginning with the cat and this whole beginning section. I was like, yeah. Not not digging it. Yeah. But his vocals really liked his vocals in this, and you know, every once in a while, I have a weird irritation with fat mike's vocals you know, uh, his you know? vocals in the first like right off the bat yeah were initially bothered me really i i know i liked him right from the beginning and then song. it was like the third line i'm like and you're used to it yeah. yeah yeah i can get behind this yeah um but yes lyrically in the second half it definitely picked up better and like i said you know i said i was complaining about the poetry the phonetic i kind of get that whole gist of that whole thing but um some of it just was a little cringy um uh, but the other half i were really, really liked well put. I really like to scroll up a little Sorry, bit. Yeah, uh, mesmerized by rhetorical and memorized historical events that never actually occurred. Yeah. Yes. We're not blind. We're bound and blinded. Mm-hmm. I really like that. Yeah, that's what I said from that pickup point in the beginning. I thought yeah. lyrically the song was a hundred percent more solid. Going like from that midpoint, um, it was a little more shaky in the beginning. If yeah. I if I think from my well, honestly, view. like if we look right at the beginning of the second part, yeah, well, up. Yeah, nope. right at the beginning of the second part. So follow Sorry. me into a world of anything you've ever dreamed. Now that morality is blurred, if you listen really closely, you probably believe in every single word. Makes me wonder if that's by design. Oh, like the beginning. Yeah. See, I, I can understand that. Yeah. Just the way those words hit there. Make me wonder if that first portion of the song is like, hey, here's some random crap, and now we don't care about that anymore. Because you're, you know, you probably believe in every single word. Like a drowning of a cat. I got you. Was, I'm assuming is made up. Okay, I took it more in a literal, I think. Like, welcome to a world where you're... Well, yeah, like, no, it, it, it would... It would hit, like, with that, to me, it would hit no, both those. What? No, no, what I'm saying, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I just took it, like, literally, like, uh, I don't know, like, you're told you can do whatever you want, but really, realistically, you can't. You can't. Yeah. And then, you know, your mal- how often, you know, now that morality is blurred, if you really listen closely, you probably believe every single, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we believe everything. Yeah. 
when we were younger. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like everything you're taught and you grow up and you you're memorized well. historical events. Yeah, that's my favorite. And your rhetorical Dude, I I see a lot of that on TikTok right now where they're like people that love history and they're just like regurgitating stuff and you're yeah. like that's not accurate. And then you're like you look you look it up. The problem is I feel like a lot of people don't know how to source things too when it comes to that kind of stuff. Yep. They're just like, Oh, I heard this and that's true. Because I like it. A lot of times it's because you like it. Yeah. Realistically, half the show you in history is you're not gonna like. <laughs> like no, you know, you're not gonna like it. Half the stuff it's, I know about history, I don't like. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, that, that's that's fucked mm, up. People and organizations. But then again, I and when they, I hear like things, yeah, when I hear about things that are historical, and I'm like, I don't know. You're usually my guy for that. I get giddy, dude. I know I you do. Giddy. And then I'm like, Joel. So I heard this. Tell me what really happened. <laughs> Even when I don't say it like and that, I'm, I'll I'm, I'll propose it as if I fully believe it just to hear you go on a rant about it. I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm probably one of those people sometimes too. You know what I mean? You're yeah. not going to get every fact right. No, never. So you're going to regurgitate things that are like yeah. incorrect because you're not going to remember everything right. So like unless you're like completely sourcing it. And then another thing, history is almost like it's almost in a way kind of like science a little bit where you have like theories because there's giant gaps and stuff. And like, oh, hey, we have um, these texts, but half it's missing because the other part of it didn't last or whatever, right? Yeah, it's and so just here's what this is, and then people make assumptions for the other half. Yep. So it's still partially theory in, in areas. So you got to watch out. For, yeah, so you got to watch out for that as well. And like, especially like, I love ancient history. So you see a lot of that in ancient ancient history. And I love how professors are like, oh, they'll I'm break not. it down like, hey, this yeah. is missing right here. We don't know what this means. This is our theory, and they'll be very blunt about it being a theory. Yeah. I like that. Hieroglyphics? That. Yeah. We don't actually know what this means, but this is what we can There's, come up with. They, they've they broken that down a lot more. Like, I've read some books on on, yeah. on that, and they, that's more understandable. But, yeah, there's there's definitely languages that are, like, dead languages that, that they, they can't yeah. break down. Oh, yeah. But I think, like, Egyptian hier- hieroglyphics, they can. Okay. You can actually go and write your name in hieroglyphics. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. But wildly off. <laughs> wildly off topic. We're doing what we do best. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to start making me talk about facts, and people are going to be like, hey, you're wrong. Yeah, oh, yeah, that'll be this gold. Is, so you call it this is Chuck's entrapment. <laughs> entrapment, guys. Not on purpose. I'm more this you're time. trying to pull facts out of my ass. I'm like, oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> We're listening to the wrong song for this. He's like, this is what I heard, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, very ups and there there wasn't a whole lot of downs but there's just some depressing stuff in the beginning that i'm like in general this whole song is a depressing it is a big drag oh, yeah, yeah, it so is. casual listening kind of knocks it out for me yeah. but i still put it in the list to see if it grows or dies where are you rocking rating wise then i'm gonna go with a oh shit i'm gonna go 5.6 okay i'm okay. gonna put it in a playlist like i said but i can see it dropping off very quickly with the while it drowned the kid and purge shit nah yeah, not into that, and that's and, right at right off the rip. Yeah, it's right off the rip, and it's gonna just make me depressed. And the song in general is not a very up up song. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. I'm going five point one. Okay, I thought it was well put together. I really like how you know the poetic portions of it were. Yeah, I like the delivery. I liked a lot of portion, lot of it, but at the end of the day, the song itself doesn't really resonate with me. It doesn't sit with me. Yeah. I don't like listening to depressing yeah, music. Yeah, I prefer to lie to myself and listen to something very... And if it's really... Like, okay, I guess I, I kind of... I'm wrong there. I do like listening to certain depressing music, but the instrumentals it's gotta be, uh, are uppity. Yeah. And this one is and just... you're like, damn, yeah. these lyrics are true, but it's a vibe, though. <laughs> yeah, how you 100%. Heard, yeah. yeah. But so I, this one, it's not going in a playlist for me. It It's very down... The beginning of the song, I'm not a big fan of those lyrics right off the yeah. bat either. Uh, I will say, but. I was not bored throughout this entire no. six minutes song. No, that's, absolutely that's, not. Uh, that gives it credit right there. Yeah. I bumped it, bumped it up a little bit. I me. mean, you said you were getting bored in the middle of the first half, but. No, no, no. Like, I was, like, getting, I guess, uh, I was losing interest is yeah. what I meant. Yeah, not, okay, that's not right. getting bored, but losing yeah. interest. I'm like, okay, what is, what's going on here? Yeah. But once I, we started breaking things down a little bit, I was like, I started understanding it a little better. Yeah. Sometimes we just got to talk in circles for a little bit, guys. And- 100%. <laughs> and I mean, don't get me wrong. I like that it's going through a just, it's painting me a picture of something. Yeah. But not my style for casual listening. Mm, yeah, I understand. I'm, I'm glad I listened to it once, though. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. A lot of those, that's why I feel the same way. I'm like, yeah. I do appreciate listening to it at least once, but, you know, I'm yeah. probably not going to go. It's not going to make a problem. 
Do you, you trying to add this in your list or no? No. Fair enough. Um, you want to give me the lyrics back? I need those. Oh, Chuck rates flex, guys. Yes, he does. You want to scroll down to them? Uh, here. Right. They're both in one area, so. I'll let you do your thing. All right. So, with me rating these wonderful F-bombs here, it starts with, you change your mind fuck from black to white. I do believe in true romance, so I'm going to dance and fight and fuck with every moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, with these, I didn't feel like they were necessary. Me either. I thought they were thrown in there completely unnecessarily. They didn't really punch you in the face with either of them. Willy nilly. Yeah. To me, these were very meh. It almost felt like they're trying to be a little edgy. Yeah. For almost no reason. Yeah. Um, so these ones, I'm going to do something that I, I, I haven't done before. We're going five. Flat. I just complained about this last week. You did. And I'm really sad that it came like this. But these ones just, they, I don't hate them. Yeah. I don't like them. They're just there. Yeah. Fair enough. Yep, but that's my ratings for the F-bombs, guys. Awesome, guys. Well, that is our reaction for the big drag by no effects. Uh, if you enjoyed our reaction and our... Dumbass rambling, do us a favor, hit like and subscribe. <laughs> Shout out to whoever drops us in the comments. Like Chuck said, just I am happy I at least heard this Absolutely. once. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but I'll see what happens, I guess, with going up or down on a playlist. Yeah. Deuces. Peace.